morning, guys. It's just me for right now. Joanna is out uh, running a quick errand. She'll be back soon, though. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this started for the day. Uh, it's late. You can see it on the wall there. It's what? 12.20 now. We just had breakfast. Typical. Uh, let's see here. Today, I'm going to be hopefully working on some trim work. At least getting the pieces cut so they can be painted. Uh, since we moved in and redid the floor. Let's see here if I can... This uh, had some trim pieces that are loose. And uh, or just were broken and didn't get fully replaced. So after I get the trim work done, I'm hoping to uh, finish painting the bathroom. And then... Uh, maybe we'll get the garage cleaned up a little bit today and maybe get some more weeding done. We'll see. Should be fun. Well, let's get started. If I can remember how to use this thing. See how it fits. <sighs> and the fit is not great. Looks like it needs to be taken. A little bit shorter. Like, yeah, just a little bit shorter. Well, the fit is better. But those other pieces suck. And maybe it was a smidge too short, but uh, a little bit of white caulking ought to fix that. All right, we'll call that piece good for you. Let's go work on that other piece. Four. Let's see here. About three feet. All right, I got the air compressor. It's all hooked up to the nail gun. I'm going to start by nailing this little piece in. And then I'll move over to here. Always wear your eye pro when you're working with power tools. Got that project all cleaned up. Next one of the day is going to be painting the bathroom. Hopefully for the last time. I've painted it a lot of times now. And it sounds like Joanna just pulled in, so I'll probably go say hi first. Oh, uh, if you're wondering why the trim job wasn't done entirely off-grid, it's because I didn't have a saw box for cutting it, and the nail gun wouldn't work by just blowing in it. So I tried, it didn't work and uh, had to use the air compressor. Hey guys, I'm finally back, like Cody said. Uh, oh, the lighting, good grief. <laughs> I had to run to the campus and get some work stuff done, the time sensitive. But now I'm back and I am gonna help clean out the garage and get the rest of the house tidied up.
too many tents. We've got that one set up there. We've got this one here. And we've got the bivy tent still in the garage. Yep. And then we have the reenacting tents. Oh yeah. Way too many tents. So we're keeping that one. We're keeping that one. We're getting rid of this one? Yep. Okay. This one is leaving. Make it go away. This garage is finally shaping up. Got, look at all this walking space. Look at all this space. This is amazing. I am so happy. All this walking space. Gardening stuff all up in there. Reenacting over here. Tools over here. And this is the beginning of a laundry uh, ringer stand project <laughs> for my buckets, and that'll go there. And we've got uh, this washer and dryer and this refrigerator are going to go to St. Vincent de Paul next week. So they're, they're still in the way, but they will be getting rid of too. And I am going to go put on some outside shoes and get to weeding. Never ending story. Didn't we just vlog about getting this all cleared out of weeds? Honestly. Oh, yeah. Urban wood hunting. This will be great. <laughs> I don't think we need this fence panel, anyways. <laughs> Check this out. So I decided to do it all by hand tools. We've been straightening some nails and reusing them. So hopefully, this will be all reclaimed material, all built with hand tools, off the grid style. Nice. So that part's gonna be the part the ringer goes on, right? Yup. And then this will get, the, the buckets will sit on these two poles. There'll be legs under it to lift it off the ground. Old fashioned hand drill in action, folks. Is it actually that easy or does it just look that easy? No, it's just the wood's really soft. Really soft. <laughs> I go out back to pull a couple more weeds and he's got the whole thing standing up. So here's kind of the idea. You get your two buckets with water and laundry in them. I've got my plunger, washer, agitator thingy. And then you do your plunger, washer, agitating. And you feed your clothes into here. And you ring it. Comes out onto this side, into the bucket, and you rinse it, and then you put it back through, or whatever, hang it to dry. You got your hand-powered clothes washer, made by hand-powered machines. This is like the most uh, environmentally friendly thing all, ever. All reclaimed wood, all reclaimed nails. Yeah. And screws. Nice job, babe. Thank you. Putting in the finest and touches on them. Wow, that was a messed up sentence. Putting the finest, finishing, there it is. Finish, putting the finishing touches on it. You're trying to say final and finish. Final touches and the final and. Does that make it less wobbly? Oh, yeah. oh gosh, yeah. Wow. That is solid. That. Looks good, babe. Oh, yeah, it doesn't even help. You just done made a washing station. Yeah. Look at that. See how long it took. So this is four hours of epic music. And we are two hours and 18 minutes in. So two hours, 20 minutes, all hand tools, no power equipment, washing station. I am impressed. Yeah. And no, like you made all this whole design up yourself. Yep, right on the floor.
Look how solid that is. That is <laughs> solid. But it doesn't have any water in it yet either. This is true. I wonder if I did a, like a, a foot. Maybe if I took one of these. You did like that? Yeah, I did it kind of like that, so the wire base. Might. Anyways, maybe we can add that later. Yeah? Use it, add water, see how well it works. Maybe we can add feed later. <laughs> Good job. Yep, yeah, there we go. Fry. Chicken, peas, corn, oil, spices, and the way to go. Hitch. We're gonna test this out. So, never seen it before? I guess we'll see. Hopefully, it'll be funny. Anyways, we are signing out for the day. Mm hmm. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe. And we'll see you next time for more homestead ishing fun in the city. See you guys later. Bye.